Hi everyone, I'm Nurhana Limiti Alam Shah with the metric number of 62014 and my character class for the hazard identification, risk assessment and risk control activity is the hygiene technician. So before I start, let me share with you guys the definition of hazard. Hazard is defined as a source or a situation with the potential for harm in terms of human injury or ill health, damage to property, damage to the environment or a combination of these. Basically today, I'm going to share with you guys about chemical hazard that I have found which is the dichlorobutane or known as methylene chloride or DCM from the site visit which is located at the Industrial Design Workshop at Faculty of Applied and Creative Art FACA in Unimas. So, what is DCM? DCM is a chemical colorless liquid with a sweet penetrating ether-like odor like the chloroform. Non-combustible, but if exposed to high temperature, may emit toxic chloride fumes. And the vapors are narcotic in high concentrations. DCM can come contact with the recipients, which are the staff and the students, as DCM is being used as a solvent and paint remover. Other than that, it also being used as adhesive to attach the clear cast acrylic sheets or known as first pack. The hazard of DCM present in two types of hazard, which are harmful or irritant hazards and also the health hazard. For the harmful or irritant hazard, it causes serious eye damage or eye irritation category 2, skin irritation category 2, and respiratory tract irritation or known as carcinogenicity category 1B. If swallowed, DCM can cause gastrointestinal irritation with nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, and may cause kidney damage. Inhalation of high vapor concentrations of DCM may cause a symptoms like headache, dizziness, tiredness, nausea, and also vomiting. DCM can also cause central nervous system depression, which lead by the high exposure by inhalation will cause anesthetic effects and may result in a loss of consciousness. Preventive nature is important as it can reduce the likelihood for the recipient to get contact with the hazard. And the preventive nature consists of engineering control and also administration control. The engineering control for DCM that I observed at the industrial design workshop are the DCM is being stored in a dry, cool and well-ventilated lock-up store. Other than that, the DCM containers are tightly closed. However, there are some DCM containers that are not being stored in the store after being used. The workshop also ensures good air ventilation as the space of the workshop is very big and have a lot of open windows. The administrative control for the DCM that I observe at the industrial design workshop are there are precaution signs and instructions being displayed in the workshop for the staff and students need to obey. The staff will also supervise the student before they use the DCM. Therefore, the students will get the correct idea on how to handle and use the DCM correctly. The workshop technicians have been trained by the Occupational Safety and Health Officer. In order to limit the degree of severity or the consequences, mitigative nature need to be applied in the workshop which are consists of engineering control and the PPE. The engineering control for the DCM that I observe is the workshop ensures that there are sinks that are close to the workstation location. Therefore, if the recipients can contact with the DCM hazards, they can wash their eyes and skins immediately. As for the personal protective equipment, or also known as the PPE, the staff and students need to wear safety shoes. Other than that, they need to wear appropriate protective eyeglass or chemical safety goggles. They are also need to wear appropriate protective gloves and clothing to prevent skin exposure. And last but not least, the 
staff and the students need to wear masks whenever they want to use the DCM. The chemical safety goggles and masks are provided by the workshop to the staff and the industrial design students that are going to use this chemical. So, what are the responses need to be taken if exposed to the DCM? If the recipients are exposed or concerned, they need to get medical attention or advice. If the DCM is being inhaled, remove victim to fresh air and keep at rest in a position comfortable for the victim to breathe. If not breathing, give artificial respiration to the victim. If the DCM can contact with the skin, wash with plenty of soap and water and if skin irritation occurs, please get medical advice or attention. Take off contaminated clothing and wash before used. If the DCM can contact with the eyes, rinse immediately with plenty of water for at least 15 minutes. Also, remove contact lenses if present and continue rinsing. If eye irritation persists, please get medical advice or attention. Okay, that's all for today's sharing. So, I hope you like the video and bye!